from beautiful roads and beautiful mansions deep inside a village to a basket market and a masquerade causing a driver uh, and the bustling roads of Ihala. All this you will see in the concluding part of the Anambra tour that we started from Newe to Oto, Opo and Lilu. In case you didn't watch the first part of the video, you can find the link in the video description. For this concluding part of the journey, we will be driving through Osumowu, Iseke, Mbose. That's the hometown of the airpiece owner, Ubului Suzo, and finally to Ihala. So if you are from any of these towns that we will visit, Hop on the ride, let's journey together, let's do the tour together and see how everywhere has changed over the years. This will be interesting to people who've been away for some time and have not seen the new developments in these areas. Sit tight, let's do the tour together and while you're doing that, remember to hit the subscribe button and enable notification. Thanks. We are currently driving in Osumogu. If you are from here, do tell us more about your hometown so that others will know more about your town. In Iseke, we will visit the basket market where all the baskets are made in the entire neighborhood. These baskets are bought by people who transport them to the northern part of the country where they have tomato plantations. That's how trade works. We all need each other irrespective of what is happening around the country. The tomato farmers need these baskets to package their tomatoes before transporting them to where they are sold. These baskets are made from palm trees which they don't have in the north. There are plenty of palm trees here in the south. As you can see all around, these are palm trees. There are millions of them here. Every part of a palm tree is money. From the leaves known as palm fronds that is used to feed livestock to the fruit, which of course you know is from where we get the red oil that is used in cooking those delicious soups like bitter leaf, melon and so on. Even the seedling, the one inside the kennel that we call Ako in Igbo, is a huge money maker. The palm kennel is known to have zero cholesterol and it is loaded with antioxidants. Of course you know what antioxidants does to your body. <laughs> The oil is used in making what is called udako in Igbo. You already know the many uses of udako. For those who don't know, in the olden days it was used to control temperature on people who have fever. Although fever is a sign of something else, but in those days hospitals were scarce. So it was generally used as a first aid. Some people still use it to this day, especially on newborns. Still talking about the palm tree, actually there was a time in our history that it contributed a lot to our GDP and internally generated revenue. During the colonial period and after independence, Nigerian economy was mostly dependent on agriculture. This was before we started earning oil money. We have a very rich history in Nigeria and we are thinking of doing a series about our history. So if you think you will like to watch such a video, do signify your interest in the comment section. If many people signify their interest, if it gets traction, we will seriously consider doing it. As they say, if you don't know where you're coming from, you don't know where you are and might not know where you are going. Looking back in history helps to solve many present day problems because they say that history repeats itself. Knowing your history will make you see history when it is being repeated. 
You will say, I've seen this before. We've been here before. We've passed through this. And because a problem that is identified is a problem that is already solved. So if we encounter a problem that we have solved before in our history, we already know the solution to the problem. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not uh, digress too much. Let's stop here for the moment. You get the idea of how important knowing your history is. Uh, within a short time, we'll be getting to the basket market in Iseke. It's somewhere around here. This is the market as you can see, business is booming for the locals. Alright, we are back on the road. The injunction isn't far from here. Yeah, that seat we are looking at and that road is the one that starts from Ihala to Olu in Imo State. Iseke is a border town in Anambra and the next town after Iseke is Awo Idemili, that's to the left, which is in Imo State. We'll be turning right towards Ehala, but before that, we will get to Mbosi first. So sit back and enjoy. Driving around Anambra is easier these days, unlike some years ago when most of the roads were dilapidated and completely unmotorable. Nowadays, you can cover many places in Anambra within a short time. That's the way it's supposed to be. One of the many ways of improving tourism is to have good roads. Driving on good roads is fun and places you want to visit will keep coming to your mind unlike if the roads are not motorable. <laughs> you will experience body aches while driving on them. The more people move around, the more they shop, the more they buy things along the way and the more they do maintenance on their vehicles. When people buy cars and there are no good roads to drive them on, the car will see less use. But if there are good roads, you will see more cars on the roads, which will lead to frequent maintenance of the cars. Ultimately, the singular act of constructing good roads leads to a booming economy. They should continue constructing new roads and continue doing maintenance on existing ones so that they will not break apart in a short time. If you noticed, we passed a lot of speed bumps on the way. These speed bumps help in preventing accidents, but they should look into using this type of speed bump. This one is better instead of using concrete. Besides, highways shouldn't have speed bumps. They are better installed on the adjoining roads instead of the main highway. To protect pedestrians, they can build pedestrian bridges on major bus stops or markets along the highway. Yeah, this is the road to Mbosi. We just missed it by a bit. We'll have to make a turn in front.
Alright, welcome to Mbose. Mbose is a small town, mostly unknown to people in other parts of Anambra and uh, Anambra Central area. Anambra Central is the Oka capital area. If you are from Mbose watching this video from any part of the world, do tell us more about your hometown. Many people will love what they see in a video, but very few will share their opinions about the information they see in the video. Please, Ndimbosi, do not forget to comment and let us know more about your wonderful hometown. Let the world know more about Mbosi. Thanks. It seems something is going on in front, or is it traffic? Something must be causing the traffic. We will see when we get closer. Wow, there's a masquerade. What a coincidence. This masquerade is called a Zaga. He seems to have a problem with the driver. <laughs> it takes incredible skills to balance on top of these sticks. Impressive. It seems like there is a ceremony going on in front. Judging by the part cars, oh. We'll be making a turn here so we can get to Ihala. It's getting late and we can't film without sunlight. Apologies to Mbosi people who no doubt are expecting to see more of their hometown. There will be a next time. Let's take a ride to explore more of Mbosi. The whole place is looking serene and pleasant. Hmm, nice. If you enjoyed the journey so far, make sure to like the video. Yes, give it a huge like. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. Thanks.